No, but seriously, fucking old people. Go ahead and get this a new saving file. I thought I was done with that last video, but no. No. I'm just gonna keep it going. Fucking old people, man. Don't have to take their shit. Really? Really? She's done me a favor giving me an excuse to kill someone who's old? It's pretty powerful, man. But again. I only need a set excuse. <laughs> old people. A nerve. Well, now you're dead, sir. You can call your son all you want. Because you're dead. <laughs> you know what? You know what? We're not done with you yet. Please forgive me. God is above, I am dead. Help me, please. No, please release me. <laughs> Satisfying. <laughs> oh, good times. Hello. I ask you, alright? Jane, 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 greetings, madam. How are you, moment? Uh, what are you doing here in Dernholm, Jana? What am I doing here? Well, what does anyone really do in Dernholm? Not much to do in this town. Wasn't always this way to hear the way my parents used to talk about it. As you say, I'm a healer from anything at all. But what sort of healing do you do? Well, I don't really do any of it very well. There hasn't been a decent doctor around here for a very long time, and her best midwife died not too long ago. I really want to learn, but there's not really anyone to learn about, learn from. I'm still trying. You see, it's really important to me that I become a great healer. Uh, why is that? Well... There was a disease that came to Dernholm a few years ago. As I told you, there hasn't been a doctor here for a long time. We didn't have any medicines and shipments from Toronto, very scarce. And so, well, my parents got sick, you see. They were so brave right until the end, but they died. Many other... I'm sure she'd be much sadder, but... I can't read it that way. Or I just don't want to. Many others died here as well. No one around knew how to deal with such sickness, and so all we could do is sit here and watch our loved ones pass away. And it was then that I decided. I decided that I never wanted to watch people die that way again. I decided to become a great healer. To save others from the pain I felt when I saw my parents die. And so, that's what I've been trying to do. Are your studies progressing? Not too well, unfortunately. As I said, there's not anyone to learn from around here. I have a little healing skill, but I'm just no good at magic. Actually, I'm very interested in some of the newer technological practices. Really, do you think technology is better? Do you really think technology is better? Shh, keep your voice down, don't you know? You can't even talk about such things around here. It's the law. King Praetor got it in his old noggin a long time ago. The technology is terrible, and he doesn't want anybody, anyone ever think, even thinking about that. You see where that has gotten us. Do you know much about it? that sort of healing? Not a whole lot. I've read a few textbooks. I had to keep them well hidden, mind you, but there really just isn't much to be learned around here. Why don't you leave? Go to Toronto, maybe. I can't really afford to. My parents weren't wealthy people, and I don't make much money here in Dernholm. This is not all that safe for a woman to be traveling all by herself. I'm afraid that I'm stuck here for now. Well, I'm going to be going back there. Maybe you'd like to come along with me. And to learn about technology, you and I wouldn't be a very good combination. That's fair. Tell me a little about Dernholm. Well, that's a long story. You see, Durnholm was once a powerful kingdom. I don't know a lot of history, but I do know that it was once as powerful as Tyrande or Caledon. Well, what happened? King Praetor decided long ago that he wouldn't tolerate... that he would tolerate no technology in his kingdom. He was, well, influenced by his mage counselors. King Praetor assumed the throne at a very young age, and he was very impressionable. Please continue. Well, eventually, there was a war between Tyrande and Cumbria, and Tyrande was victorious. The Dragon Knights, King Praetor's elite guard, were almost all wiped out in the final battle. Dernholm crumbled, deteriorated into what you see here today. Talk about the Dragon Knights. Alright. Well, good day, then. I, I, you know, I might be magically inclined, but I still could have walked you up there to Tarant. Oh, well, you're cool. You are officially not my problem. <laughs> you know, I'm okay with that. Oh, locked door. Well, we'll only keep it locked. Uh, we've gone to some places... We done some stuff. Let's go back and visit Gladys. Ah, uh, wherever she was. Nope, it's Liana. Back here, I think. Hello, I have found your ring. You didn't you find it? I killed the bastard that stole it from you. You know, I thought that might happen. 
<laughs> I didn't care. Figured I'd tell her the truth. And she never wants to see the ring again. An old family heirloom. Well. What is it that you want? Go ahead and take this. You want to wear it? Your call, man. Also officially not my problem. Passed away. Let's go see what's happening here in the castle, man. Go ahead and uh, use the save. Well, whatever. Fucking ungrateful people in this game, man. This is why you never help peasants. They're full of nothing but rubbish. There's fucking peasants just being peasants going, hur hur, I'm a peasant. Hey guards. Hey guys. I kinda wouldn't want you seeing me looting around here. But you are doing a pretty good job keeping an eye on this situation. I don't know whether you'd care or not. You might. Well, I don't feel like loading if you do care. Ooh. Damn. Well, oh, that's human noble. That's probably the king. We, uh, kind of got back into his bedroom pretty well here, all things considered. Probably shouldn't have been that easy. Hello there, guard. Nah, I'll just leave the chest there. Whatever. Not gonna care enough. Virgil does have a little bit of lockpicking. I guess I have a little bit of lockpicking. I have a bonus to pickpocketing. It's different from us. <sighs> yeah, I killed that man. He told me to get fucked. And, uh, well, he was old. Really, I did the whole world a service, even if you're not willing to acknowledge that. This door's not locked. Whatever. I guess I got in the king's bedroom pretty easily. Nope. Oh, time to put down the poison. Throw the snake onto the bed. Cover the pillow with all manner of horrific things. Hey, does this smell like chloroform to you? <laughs> and then he's dead. Good story. I don't really know what business I have coming here to try to talk to you. You are pretty high level compared to me. Maybe that's fine. Color me intrigue. Just want to talk. I'm honored to have someone of your fine heritage grace us with your presence. Sure, what has happened to your lands? We are a poor people now with limited resources and I fear my citizens are slowly starving. Cursed technology has toppled my dear Cumbria but its former glory. Technology is the scourge of our age, my good sir. I courted the mages of Tula, Tola, in an effort to defeat the technology-driven madness of Ireland. They swore technology was weak compared to the magics they wielded, yet it was strong enough to defeat our economy. Why haven't the mages helped? They could not face the truth after their ignorance doomed me. Eventually, they all fled. I can't believe the mages turned their backs on you. That may be, but I could use someone of your nature to help me now. At your service, your majesty. I have need of a courier. There appears to be some sort of problem with Blackroot, one of our outlying provinces. I could use someone to look into it. What's the nature of this problem? Two years ago, Blackroot sent word that they could not beat their taxes. Their crops had failed. I haven't heard from them since. since. I need someone to investigate and collect what I'm owed. Five gold bars, I believe. Could they have betrayed your majesty? Never. They are my loyal subjects. Would you be interested in such a venture? What can I expect from my troubles? If you succeed in retrieving my taxes, you'll be entitled to 200 coins and, of course, my everlasting gratitude. I would have liked to have heard, heard more dialogue from you, but consider it done, man. King Praetor, he understands how awesome my powers are. Yeah! He appreciates me for who I am. And what I can do for him. Yeah! I like it. King Praetor would like for you to collect his taxes from Blackroot. Well, maybe I will. And, you know, we have to hurt some people along the way. 
Every time I try to do good for people, they just spit it back in my face, right? They're like, I don't want it. I don't want you to know the two. I don't want my ring back. <laughs> so if I have to hurt some people, well, it's gonna be here. Where the hell is Black Root? Alright. Still on this side. It's a border town. Makes sense somehow. I would like to go all the way back up to Tehran, but that is quite a jog. That would be what the teleport's for. Oh, come on. What do you mean my path is blocked? No, it's not. Is it? I hate this game. Sure. Whatever you say. We'll do that, then. Does that make you happier? <laughs> I think you just wanted to walk across the water. Come on, man. Putrid rodent. Oof. Putrid rodents actually got a bit of a bite to them. Alright. I believe in you, Virgil. There you go. Complete the mission. Here I am, my epic smoking jacket. Beautiful Virgil. Great work. Just continuing to style and profile out here, although perhaps I should wear the robe while I'm out and about. Let's go to Black Root. Here we are. And we'll put that back on. We didn't get into another fight, but well, drop your anchor. Annabelle's Gallery? Hello. My budget is going on here, there. It's come place to come. You're looking to purchase yourself a boat. A boat? Might be a bit of my price range. Wonder who I speak with. Well, let's mill around a bit here. What have you heard, madam? Oh, the usual bother, this and that. She smiles at you, putting a hand on your arm. Oh, did you hear about that? I don't know anything. No, can't say that I have. I'll be leaving now. <laughs> Not no. Are you crazy? Greetings, sir. Apologies if I had not yet. Mean no intrusion. Really, trailer seeking information. Sites of our land you've beheld. Many sites, from quaint shrouded hills to the great city of Toronto. My, you have traveled far. It is good to meet a fellow adventurer. I fear we are becoming a rare breed. Too many prefer the comforts of familiar places and large cities to the freedom of the open wilderness. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Pietzel Pierce. My pleasure. I am Grimoth. I've changed my mind. Hello, Grimoth. Will your adventures continue to take you far afield, or are you finished with your present run? I suspect that I'll be traveling for quite some time still. May I ask why? One of my students is missing. I need to leave town for Caledon rather quickly. And have not the time to search for him. I fear a tragedy may have befallen the boy. Students? Why, yes, I am the Master Boatman. Oh. From time to time, those who wish my training seek me out. I train them for a fee, or if I am in need, require a task of them. The latter was true for young Dudley. And what would you have me do? If you happen to come upon him in your wanderings, might you inform him that I have gone on to Caledon on business for the king? You should seek me out there. Yes, I can do that. Thank you. His name is Dudley Croston. He is a human lad of average height and build. The last I saw of him nigh a month ago, he was dressed in plain adventure gear, armed with a bow, and I have provisions for the fortnight. He is headed north. If I happen upon him, I will deliver your message. Thank you, Grimoth. It has been a pleasure meeting you. It is time we went off to Caledon. May your journey prove enlightening. Goodbye. Hello? Ah. Uh. Everyone knows that I am I am Clarissa Shalmo, Master of Throne Reverendry. You have heard of me, after you, but yes, your prowess is legendary. What brings you here? I am currently working under contract, because I am the master. My skills are in high demand. You see, I exceed with all throne weapons, daggers, boomerangs, chakrams, even grenades. My poison aim are flawless. You really should see me in action. I'm quite amazing. Ah, uh, You mastered Impressive must be quite an honor to be in such demand. Yes, it is good to be the best. 
but sometimes it can get tedious. That's when you find yourself looking for a new weapon to master, although there are very few left that would actually challenge me. What weapon are you currently mastering? Sadly, it has been a long time since I've been challenged with a new weapon. However, I have recently heard tales of Azrem Star. It is said to be one of the finest throwing weapons ever forged. If the star is anything like I have heard, it will be the next weapon I master, but it will have to wait the completion of my contract. With all my travels, I have known nothing of this weapon. What is it? Apparently, it is an artifact that dates back to the Age of Legend. The piece is rumored to have not one, but five blades protruding from its base. From it is base, apparently. It inflicts incredible damage. Plus, I hear that it possessed the power to return to it is master after striking it, it is target. What an amazing weapon that would be. All right. Uh, I don't think she... I don't really care about... No. Okay, so, as far as I'm aware, like, masters are certain skills. They'll require you to perform a task for them in or before they'll train you, in addition to whatever else. Well, not it's had an acknowledgement. Like, we used to be under protection of Cumbria, but I think the mayor has other plans. I think I'd probably go to the mayor. Siandric. Alright. Poor Mrs. Cameron. Killian Drake. Killian, huh? A luckier dice player in my life. Hurt. Alright. Kietzel Pierce? Sure. Clarissa Shelmo. I heard that she has discovered some ruins that may contain a powerful ancient weapon. Mm -hmm. Alright. No one makes better poisons than Grunwald. Well, thank you. As it turns out, we're in Drop Your Anchor, Annabelle's Gallery, whatever. It's not important. Here, let's just drop your anchor. That's Annabelle's Gallery, I guess. Well, we could probably just walk around talking to more random people. I'm sure there's so many opportunities to talk to people that I've just ignored. Got the several members in the chat, or <laughs> in the video comments, not exactly. Uh, if only I cared, but... God damn it, I accidentally clicked on a fucking thing to lockpick it again. Um, hello. You look blacksmith? May I ask you a question? What does it make it quick? Uh... What can you tell me about? Okay, many thanks. Can I let us trade? I doubt there'd be anything of interest. I really haven't done much in the way of fighting. It's been a bit. I did kill an old man last session. That was pretty awesome. Dancing Needle. The tailor. Happy to make your acquaintance. Sort of wears you here. Got your garments. To, got your garments to serve all your basic needs. You should really try the wool. It's quite good, not too scratchy this time of year. Even got a bit of jewelry if you're the fancy type. Well, let us barter, miss. Not really anything that I want, but... It's cool to know. Cool to know. I guess. Looking for the mayor, which means I should probably find City Hall. Hello. So where is you carry here? Uh, let us trade. I doubt any of these will be interesting to me. But I thought I'd look. Sure. Goodbye. Moving on. Hello. Might you be Grunwald? Might I speak with you a moment? Uh, what is it you do here? Some call me an apothecary, but I'm an alchemist by trade. It seems I've been blessed with the gift of making poisons. Some might consider that a curse. The world needs men such as I as much as it needs priests or warriors. We all play the part given us. Uh, sure. I don't really. Like, he can make poisons. I don't give a damn. Things I don't care about. Well, there's all these people wondering about. Question? Uh, no. Maps. I'll tell you what. What is it that you want of me? What can I answer for you? I, I don't like this place. It's filled with pirates and brigands. None of these sea dogs can be trusted, I tell you. Thank you, Virgil. Your information is incredible, as always, I am sure. I never visited the pits when I was in Dern Home. Uh oh, it just got dark all of a sudden. There's a train here. What if they don't run on time? Oh, go ahead and peek her heads in here. Uh. Hello? Alright. Sure. 
That's actually where the mayor is, but because it suddenly went night, he just completely vanished. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, sure. What the hell is that? I guess I hear the... Interesting. Pleased to meet you, good woman. Mrs. Cameron Stranger, you appear to be able to... Have you seen my son? Your son? Who is your son? Liam. My son is Liam Cameron, the inventor. I haven't seen him. I am afraid I must have come a different route. He's a tinker like his father before him, always working on some new gadget. He built himself a workshop about three days travel to the woods so he wouldn't be disturbed. And you haven't seen him in a while. His normal routine was to trek back here once a month. The visit being stuck about supplies has been nearly two and I haven't heard a thing. What with the strange happenings going on in the woods? Strange happenings? Oh yeah, strange beasts have been spotted all over the woods. All different types and not just an odd sighting either. A couple of townsfolk have actually been killed. It's quite alarming. I was so hoping you would have news of Liam. Um, would you like me to see if I could find him? Would you? I'd be so grateful. I realize it's some other place to worry, but it's so unlikely. Uh, show me on the, my map where his workshop is. I will bring you news. Or attempt to. And I... <laughs> Good work, team. <laughs> All right. Well, <sighs> fucking quest. My decision to help people for whatever reason, and then have that help thrown back in my face. It's dumb. Hello. No, not really. Let's go ahead and pop in. I don't know what the hell's happening here. I the mayor might be in here. This looks like a fancy enough place. Yeah. Let's go ahead and pick up that tithe. I'm sure we won't have any problems. Uh, greetings, welcome. I am here on behalf of King Praetor. What do you want? I'm here to collect the taxes Blackroot owes. Blackroot is allied with the Unified Kingdom now. I collect taxes only for Tarant. King Praetor would disagree. I care not of Praetor or yourself, sir. Cumbria has left us to fend for ourselves too long. We are under the protection of Tarant now. So the Tarant guards are keeping Black Roots secure? Of course, they have their own procedures, but they have protected our fair town within their capabilities. Within their capabilities, what does that mean? Well, there are certain rules of propriety, you know. Probable cause and proof of wrongdoings, as it were. Is there some difficulty they cannot deal with? I'm sure they will deal with our thievery problem in due time. But why is now not the time? The guards can arrest no one without proof, so they say. What kind of proof? Thieves stole my badge of office, a ceremonial silver dagger. If you can recover it for them, from them, if you can recover it from them, it would be all the proof I need to have them arrested. I'll need to ponder this at length. Good day. Why would I accept his quest? Why? Why would I give a damn about Toronto? Like. You know what? Fuck you! God damn it. Where's the fuck you option? <laughs> Is this the fuck you option? <laughs> Taxes and all that jazz. Yeah, whatever. I probably can't take down all of these guards. Whatever. Thieves have been known to look so many ass guys are their leaders and elf named Docktown. I believe God's feet sir. I take my leave of you. Well, I'm I'm definitely gonna want those taxes. And uh Maybe we can we can negotiate a deal of some sorts, huh? Yeah. Maybe. Or maybe I'm just gonna have to kill him. Hello? I mean, I'm hurt. Uh, what is it that you do? Simple soldier, veteran of the wars with Tehran during home. I'm retired now, living here in Blackroot. Sometimes offer instructions and martial skills to those who. Whatever. Do an interest in unity. If it's not in position, can you tell me of the war? I'm one of the last to remember the wars, though I prefer not to. Since the day the Cumbria went down to defeat the policies of the. Okay. Please continue. 
And the war I served in the elite guard of Cumbria Dragon Knights. I fought with honor and virtue. The war of Thrawn was different from all the wars that saw the end of the age of chivalry. The noble knight was replaced by a line of green recruits with guns. At the start of the war, the rifle was only issued to Tarantian sharpshooters, but by the end, they were standard issued to every recruit. The Tarantian army combined with ranked unit formations to concentrate fire. Basically, you got fucked. Now, please continue. It was the end of the 500 years of tradition. He shakes his head in sadness. I witnessed knights gunned down as they offered challenges on a field of honor. The cowardice. Condition. Please continue. The only weakness to their formations was that they could not stand the shock of melee. When we could engage them hand to hand, our the victory was ours. Our tactics became those of ambush. Yep, 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 yep. These are tactics used by a weaker force against a stronger force. We had many glorious victories in battle, but eventually, at great cost, the Tarantians prevailed. We lost the war. Oh! Hey, Grimmeth, you can scroll. During dialogue situations. Thought you should know that, bro. <laughs> Please continue. Alright. Okay, well I can't scroll that far. You've defeated me, game. Let's find capital during home is gonna ruin I moved away find and reconciled to it a war a long time ago. Please forgive an old man his ramblings, you've been most patient. Uh sir, you do not ramble, it's been my pleasure. Oh, good scene. If you ever have need for training in mainly dodge, spawning, trying to fire, and I accept you as a pupil. Uh. What exactly are you proposing? I'm retired now, but I used to be a master at arms for the Cumbrian Army. Knights who trained with me became experts in melee and dodge. Toward the end of my career, I trained in firearms and spawning traps as well. I train you in any one of these skills for a modest fee. Tell me more about training. New thing changes, you must be ready to learn. Okay. Most reasonable policy. I'll be departing now. Well, that's good to know. I'm glad I got him. I doubt I will be using any of his training, but... I let an old man ramble, and... Eh. I'll take some money now. I'll be taking that, too. Thank you. See, I got over 300 coins from my troubles. It's not so bad. Seaside salvage, huh? Hello? I doubt... I doubt you would have anything interesting for me. I've heard that dialogue before. Uh, no. But, just to say that I was here. The Sour Barnacle. Hello? Sir? One doesn't expect to see a priest in such an establishment. It's my veritable home away from home, actually. It's just about the last place I'll have you these days. And your actual home would be where I hail from Durnholm, capital Cumbria. I've been driven from my beloved Cumbria to end up here. Why stay here? Why not leave this area completely? I lived in Cumbria my home life as my home. I am... was the head of the Church of Cumbria. Uh, why are you no longer the head of the Church? King Praetor is not well. When Cumbria's economy spiraled out of control, he lashed out his advisors. When I tried to reason with them, he banished me as well. Uh... Hmm. Yeah, you know, I'm not really seeing too much value in helping this King Praetor guy. But... So it's safe to assume you're not very fond of Praetor? Not at all. Praetor needs more assistance than ever. Now his family's a slipping way. Even Axel, I'll defend my king to thine breath. Could you help me? I'm here to collect the taxes for Praetor. Yes, this could improve my standing Praetor. I'll do it as the gods are my witness. Uh, I'd like to ask some... I'd like to know what... I didn't actually think you would join me. Ha. Huh. Well. This is a little awkward. I... Can't really say I care that much. You're pretty much Virgil. But I guess your extra help. Well, 
that would make sense that you would be a boss. Yeah. Shit. Okay. Whatever. I'm into the session here. I'll explore the rest of Black Root later. Some other point. We've 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 made some progression. Some stuff has happened. And more stuff might happen next time. <laughs>